Hello everyone, this is Assertive Dolphin, and today we're going to be talking about a specific movie in mind. A movie that was so panned by critics, it was actually given a 1% by Rotten Tomatoes. A 1%. Now the thing is, I always knew that this movie was pretty bad, but the thing is, as a kid, I kind of liked it. I didn't think it was bad, I didn't think it was good, I kind of thought it was okay. So I didn't mind it as a kid, you know? So. I mean, come on, it can't really be that bad, like 1%, I mean, how bad could it possibly be? You always disguise my voice, right? <laughs> uh, open the sesame, open the sesame. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, wow, just wow. And just so you all know how truly awful that score is, the movie Freddy Got Fingered was given a higher score than this one. And for my viewers who don't know what the movie Freddy Got Fingered is, let me just explain for a second. This is a movie where the main character at one point, on his way to get his dream job, saw a horse on the side of the road. So he proceeded to stop his car, get out of it, run over to the horse, then jerk it off for seemingly no reason, then get back in his car, drive away, and then it's never talked about ever again. Never brought up, never, never anything. That movie is rated higher than this one. That movie. So, uh... Just so you all know what we're in for. I mean, guys, I've reviewed some pretty bad movies, okay? Like Joshua and the Promised Land, all right? Poseidon Rex, okay? Uh, Avatar The Last Airbender, the movie, okay? There are some really, really horrible movies out there. But guys, I gotta be real with you. I seriously think that this has to be the worst comedy of all time. It, I just want to review a movie that isn't such a low rating, okay? I just want to get one. I just want to get one, okay? But no, I can't. No. Here's... Here is Master of Disguise. So our movie begins, and there's already bad CGI. From the very beginning, he had impulses he could not control. You slap me, I slap you! We are then introduced to... Pistachio Disguisey. Yes, I really wish I was making that name up, but I'm not. And he is on his way to go on a date. Yeah, listen, Pistachios, I know we had some laughs at the bar last yeah. night, but you're not my type. Besides, I have a boyfriend, so don't call me, okay? I gotta go. Yeah, I think anyone would have that reaction to this guy. He then sees a kid fall over on the side of the road. Excuse a young man, I, I couldn't help but notice that you became acquainted with the sidewalk a moment ago. Pistachio, why don't you do one of your funny voices and cheer the kid up? No way, that's his actual voice. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Alright, when's he gonna start talking normal? <laughs> the papa. <laughs> Pleasure, Bonnie Baker. And now, hungry patrons. Show me a sign. I promise I will never mock you again. My family is missing and I don't know what to do. 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 <sighs> Need a new desk. Why? Why? Is this the voice they went with? Who thought this was a good idea? Who thought this was a good idea? He talks like this for the entire movie. Were they smoking something? Who, in their right mind, would want their character to sound like this for the entire movie. What you talk about get away from you? I'm making waffles. So we now enter another scene in this movie, and we enter a new problem. Pistachio's facial expressions. This guy only has like two facial expressions the entire movie. Happy or annoying. That's it. There is only one scene in this entire movie where he actually shows sadness but for some reason he never does it again i, I don't know why 
Just look at this. Sometimes there's so many voices in my head, I don't know who I am. Yes, that is one of the voices, I'll give you that. Not the loudest one, no, no. but the... You, you see, that's actually not that bad, you know? When you're watching a movie, you want to see your character doing all these great different expressions. Like happy, sad, scared, brave, all these different types of emotions. This dude doesn't do any of that. Yes, I, I, yes, I, I, I clean. I clean. Uh, uh, goodbye, gooey sauce. Uh, yes, yes. Do you see how he's making the same expression that entire time? That's an issue. <laughs> yeah. uh. I'm uncomfortable. We now hear the best line in the whole movie because of how accurate it is. Look, pistachios, the silly voices, the making faces, it was fun for like one second, okay? Yes, literally. That's the movie. That's the whole thing. That is, that is the movie in a nutshell. Pistachio's dad is then kidnapped. Let's go! Now I want you to imagine this. Your father was just kidnapped, okay? He was kidnapped. How do you think you're gonna react? Ransacked. Hello, a police in my home. It is a full of ransackery. Everything different. What am I? And my name is Pistachio. And oh, Mama's cannoli is here. <sighs> Mama's cannoli is here. Does do I even have to explain why this is awful? Was that an exorcist reference? What does that have to do? Why? So the weird exorcist man comes to his house. My son. My father, your son. Holy cannoli, you are my sister. Ha <laughs> ha ha. Oh, it's funny because because it's not funny. It's not funny. So he then figures out that he is a master of disguise. While he's being told stories of his past ancestors who were disguises, who would dress up as characters and stuff like that and, and be involved in certain events and time periods. And here is a perfect example of what they mess up in this movie, okay? Every single joke is ruined. Every single one. I'm not even kidding, guys. I tried to find a single joke, a single joke, that stuck, but nothing did. And here is a perfect example of something that is funny at first, but then is then ruined. Abraham Lincoln was such a boring speaker that the disguises had to help him get elected president. If you'll excuse me, I just need a drink of water. Rough crowd. You see, if it ended there, that would be really funny, and I would have laughed my ass off. The problem is, they didn't, and they kept going. If it was simply just edited down, that would seriously be hilarious. It's just too bad that the people who made this were incompetent. We are then introduced to the villain of the movie. You're a sick man, Bowman. <laughs> <laughs> wow, a joke that's actually funny. It, it's got good comedic timing, it's got awkward silence afterwards, the guy looks embarrassed. That's actually pretty funny. How do they ruin it? <laughs> Every single joke in this movie's ruined. It's been a thrill serving you. Can I get some extra jokes that don't repeat themselves over and over again? We're all out. Could you check? No. An assistant. Yes, I'm going to get an assistant. They then try to hire an assistant for Pistachio. This is a really weird montage scene where they just say no to a bunch of people. 
But the weird thing is, normally in montage scenes where you're saying no a bunch of times, you want to show a bunch of, like, really stupid looking people. But all these people don't look stupid. There's no real reason for him to be saying no. Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? So they end up finding an assistant, and they almost actually don't pick her because she has a small butt. I'm not even kidding. That actually happens. Did this be Yeah, yeah. I un culo piccolo. Ma anche un certo je ne sais quoi. The only thing je ne sais quoi here is how horrible this movie is. We now enter the most marketed scene in the movie, the turtle scene. Now, this scene could have been funny, okay? The comedic possibilities for it are skyrocketed, okay? Think about it. He's going to a club called the Turtle Club, and he comes dressed up as a turtle. This could be funny, okay? He could come in, he could be embarrassed, he could be like, oh crap, I'm literally dressed up like a turtle at a turtle club. Now I gotta continue the whole rest of the night dressed up like a turtle. This is embarrassing. You see, that would be funny, because the character is put in an awkward situation. That would be hilarious. Instead, all that happens is he just walks around and says turtle for no reason. Turtle? But am I not turtly enough for the turtle club? He's fine, turtle. Uh, turtle. I'll turtle. Um. <laughs> turtle. Turtle. Okay. Not turtle. No. Mm. Turtle. No. Not turtle. No. Turtle. 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 I can't believe I'm about to say this. I can't believe I'm about to say this. The Avatar The Last Airbender movie was better than this. How is that even physically possible? Yes! Yes! Hmm. What if harm found its way to you? Terrible, terrible, terrible harm. Jeez, imagine that guy coming up to you in a back alley in the middle of the night. If you think it's impossible for this scene to get any worse, just watch this. So after that horrible, horrible scene, you're not gonna believe this, but they actually try to have a romantic moment. Imagine making the turtle scene, and saying afterwards, yes, this needs a romance scene. Physical pain is in my head. Okay. Good night, my love cake. Love cake? What? You said love cake. But why would I call you love cake? Honey? Will you two shut up? So after that tragedy, they end up trying to crash the villain's party. Will you gentlemen excuse me, please? Oh yeah! We're gonna party all night long. Is that the soundboard of Falco from Melee? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Say hello to my little friend. Oh, <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> Cause get it, guys? Cause it's like, cause it, cause it's, cause it's like Scarface. Remember Scarface is so funny cuz cuz Scarface I love remember references. the only Such way to make a funny is movie is with references Dark haired guy go in the water shark in the water Oh my god Oh my god They just did a reference immediately after a reference How do you even do that and still look at yourself like you're a competent person. So he finally gets to the bad guy's base and starts fighting all of his goons. Or, uh, if you can even really call it fighting at all. Who's 
This scene truly makes me want to go outside, lay on the ground, put some bread on my eyes, wait for seagulls to come and rip my eyeballs out. Because I cannot handle this. I can't. I, I cannot handle this. I would rather watch four hour long versions of Avatar The Last Airbender movie mixed with Freddy Got Fingered. That is how bad this is. I just... I... Okay, look. I guess I see where they were trying to go with this, okay? They were trying to go with it like, oh, it, it's funny because, you know, he's like not even really trying and then they're just running away. Uh, okay. But the thing is, if you want to actually make a likable character that the audience can um, enjoy to watch, there has to be at least at some point of seriousness, guys. He's fighting bad guys. Like, come on. Is it so much to ask for an actual fight scene? I know I might be asking too much for Master of the Skies, but like, was it really too hard? Was it really, was it really too hard? To just make an actual fight scene. I, I know. I know. Movies are so hard to make, guys. I, I, I'm sorry. They're so hard to make. <laughs> Why are you crying? <laughs> so finally, the film, if you can even call it that, is over. And we could just end this review right- oh wait. This one's for you, Chiefy! <laughs> <laughs> okay, now it's final- oh my god, it's still going. We don't want to go anywhere with you, melon head! <laughs> Alright, I understand that the guy who made this, it was a bit of a passion project for him. I understand that he made it and that he had a lot of fun with it and everything, and that's great. But the sad part is, it is simply not funny in the slightest. And I cannot comprehend how anyone in the universe could ever find this remotely humorous in any way possible. The final score for this movie is a half of one star. If I could rate it lower, than Avatar and Joshua in the Promised Land, I would. But uh, there kind of isn't really a score for that other than no stars. And I don't really want to give it no stars. So, it's half a one star. Yeah. I know that one day I'll get a high review on the movie, but as of now, it is still very low. See you guys on the next Assertive Dolphin episode. Turtle. 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 Am I turtly enough for the turtle club? Am I turtly enough for the turtle? Am I turtly enough for the turtle club? Turtle. 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 Am I turtly enough for the turtle? I'm so dirtly, dirtle, dirt. Ah! Die, 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 die. Ah! Ah! In case I don't see ya. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> yeah.